and for me, hell, I was a little kid listening to uh Tupac, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Dear Mama. Even as a crack fiend mama, mm-hmm. always was a black queen mama. Right. I had a whole wonderful mother, and I'm listening to a guy talk about a woman who didn't give a damn about herself or her child. Right. And we're pedestalizing that. Right. And in, in the black community is so it's so unfortunate for me to even have to say this, but we pedestalize bullshit. Right. Yeah. Zero accountability, zero responsibility will not fight for what I believe in. And, and that's, that's the wild. part. Yeah, that's the part. Accountability is the most biggest part. If more people would enter into relationships with their own accountability, with understanding and consideration and patience, hey, most people don't have that type of uh, <laughs> multitasking skills. Hey, I listen. I listen real good, right? And for mm-hmm. me to and for me to have the rhetoric to for me to say that black people are powerful and yeah. they should behave like powerful people. Yeah. Somebody's going to call me some type of bad name, like a coon or uncle Tom. Mm-hmm. No, we're not powerful. Mm-hmm. Do you know, do you know we had slavery? <laughs> Don't you know Jim Crow existed? Don't you know about crack laws? And I'm like, yeah, I know about all those things. Right. Right. I faced them, beat them, still here, still going. I'm excited about yeah. what the possibilities, man. How dare you bring up accountability? A little resistance makes you strong, nigga. There's a reason why I am like this, and I I don't have to be accountable for what they did to me. Sheesh. Yeah. Hey, everyone goes through some shit. Don't want to hear that part, though, huh? When, like, the trauma Olympics. I'm not trying to be, like, the the Mm. most bestest cripple, nigga. I'm trying to be the most strongest Olympian, nigga. What's up? Trauma Olympics, as in, like, we are competing about who has the biggest trauma. Hell yeah. That's wild. (laughs) <laughs> that was a great analogy. <laughs> well, I've been through this. And I've been through that. <laughs> and watch this. You know the most bestest secret that don't nobody tell black folks in the whole world? What? Don't nobody give a damn. The world don't owe you nothing. The, the world, nobody owes you shit. Huh? Yeah, that's true. The world is about negotiation. If you're not willing to negotiate it, then you ain't finna get it. Yeah. And if and if I know, don't nobody owe me anything. Right. That's why I appreciate the you know what i mean the the genuine <laughs> when people do give their time time is really the only currency if some that's how i know when somebody genuinely cares i mean like uh my the best the, to me the best quote is uh to live gratitude is to touch heaven and that means that every moment of your life you're just thankful when mm. a person shows up for you just thankful thankful yeah man with everything that happens you're thankful yeah and so it never gets to a place of entitlement and I think a lot of <laughs> folks are entitled right now. Don't be sorry, ho. Be thankful. Hey, let's be thankful that we can have a conversation. <laughs> One day I woke up and I wasn't a little kid no more. Yeah. And I was like, damn, the things that I was doing as a little kid really hurt my life, really hurt my way of thinking. Mm-hmm. And I'm not going to try to rationalize no Tupac and no Biggie. You hear right, me? Right, yeah. And Biggie Small said, fuck a tussle, shoot your daughter in the calf muscle. Give me the loot, give me the loot. <laughs> I'm, right. a, I'm a child. And that's the ideology that I'm perpetuating. Right. I'm running around with a pistol talking about, give me the loot. Right. And you tell me, no, nah, it's just entertainment. Mm-hmm. Not to a 15-year-old boy. So how did you get from that? How did you get out of that as you got older? Uh, life is results-based business. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you were like, I'm not getting the result. You were asking yourself why you weren't getting the results you wanted? Man, I didn't want to go to prison for the rest of my life. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. I, I, I watched my friend get murdered. Okay. Mm. A lick gone wrong. Mm. Holy. Mm-hmm. I taught him how to rob. And then I had to say goodbye to my friend. Mm-hmm. Say, hey, man, this is not the life that I want for myself. And I'm so thankful that I made a better decision. You were accountable. Hell no. That shit haunts me every day. I miss that person. Right. If I never taught that person how to rob, that person might still be here. 